to Hurricane Aaron, battering the East Coast with waves and rip currents. The dangerous conditions are expected to last throughout the weekend, and we're going back to you, Ginger. You've mm -hmm. been tracking it for us all morning. I mean, it's even further away, and we saw images of Jones Beach this morning still with the coastal flooding. So hundreds of miles from Nova Scotia, jetting northeast at 22 miles per hour. It's going to be long gone, but that doesn't mean you don't see impacts. Last night, Atlantic City had the flash flooding from coastal flooding, I should say, as the water was pushing through. And Newport, Rhode Island, that huge surf, that's still going to exist even as the storm passes away. And so that's why you've got the coastal flood alerts all the way from South Carolina and North Carolina up through Maryland and Delaware, up the Jersey Shore, throughout Long Island, the Cape, and even coastal Maine and New Hampshire. The high surf advisories are up for four to 10 foot waves down here. That's still really big. But then seven to 15 foot waves throughout today. Uh, I really be careful, Nantucket, uh, Martha's Vineyard. A lot of these beaches are gonna say, hey, we're closed, let's not do it. And a part of that is the rip current exists all the way through tomorrow, at least through tomorrow. And Rachel, I'd say even Sunday, most beaches are not gonna be safe, but just pay attention to your flags. Yeah, those threats extending into the weekend. All right, Ginger, thank you.